Up next is the Osceola Seminoles coach, Robert Hooks, and thank you for coming out and bringing your guys. And if you wouldn't mind, let's start out with just an opening statement, coach. Uh, as, as the season is getting close, we're, we're very excited uh, about the opportunity to uh, just get out and compete against, against uh, competition. Uh, we, uh, we've been working to uh, grow mentally and, and physically uh, to become better football players, but also students of the game. Uh, I think, uh, you know, of course, we have a lot of talent, but uh, when you become a student of the game with the talent that we have, uh, I think it enhances, it enhances your talent and uh, uh, helps us uh, peak to, to become better. And if you don't mind, just introduce who you brought along with you today. Okay. Uh, to my right, I have uh, Coach Lynn Teague, uh, who's our, our defensive coordinator, uh, inside linebacker coach, and, and uh, running backs on offense. To my immediate left, we have Brandon Johnson, who's a, a running back, outside backer, also a guy that can play safety, uh, pretty much can play uh, any position on, on the football field except uh, on the line and quarterback. Uh, in the middle, we have Kenyon Troop, who's uh, going to be a three-year starter, but hadn't played in any but, but three games. Uh, <laughs> so, un unfortunately, he hadn't been able to finish the last two years, but he's been uh, pegged as, as the starter and offensive guard for the last three years. So, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're praying and hoping that uh, he gets a chance to start and finish this season uh, as a Seminole and, and, and play in every football game. Uh, he plays offensive guard, and, and he also gives us reps at, at nose guard. On the end, we have uh, Travion Moore, uh, a guy that, that this is, this is going to be the most words that I hear him say today, uh, a guy that I really don't have much to say, but I, I call him the silent assassin. Uh, he's a guy that I'm um, in the locker room. He's not going to talk much, but when those lights come on, he's in between those white lines. He's, he's going to be a dog, and he's going to do everything it takes to, to help his team win. Uh, He's, he's a wide receiver and a DB. He's, he's also a guy that can, he can play corner, he can play safety, he can play any position at receiver. Uh, and he's, he's going to be our holder this year. Uh, so he's, he's going to be very vital to, uh, to our success this year. So really deep run last year, Coach Hooks, and you've been doing a phenomenal job since uh, taking over at Osceola. So how could you pinpoint areas to get better you know, going forward from such an outstanding year last year? Well, uh, number one, the first thing, uh, you know, when you, you play in a game like we did in the state championship game, you have to enhance your run game, uh, you know, with, with the way that the, the weather was and uh, uh, we, we should have, have run the football more and, uh, and it, it's just the mentality. So that's what we, we've been harping on, on being tougher and, and, and being able to run the football uh, becoming downhill runners and, and, and using a tight end and a, and a fullback when we need to. Uh, and, and, and we've progressed pretty good so far this summer. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Was that championship game, was it postponed? Or I know it was some weather-related issues. What was, what was happening there? Uh, the championship game was not. The, the semifinal game was, was postponed uh, the, the week before. Uh, and the championship game, it, it, it went on. Uh, at, at the but it was wet. Uh -huh. Yeah, wet, uh, freezing, wind blowing. Uh, just, just one of those, one of those nasty games where uh, I, I as a head coach did not prepare uh, our team uh, to be champions, and that's why uh, we're standing here today working to get back and uh, do everything that we need to do to, to uh, become a champion. I have Steve Knox here as a beat writer for you guys. We've got some questions. Uh, Coach Hooks, you know, we've talked a few times through, yes, uh, through the summer. Um, you expressed one of your cons main concerns being uh, lack of depth mm -hmm. at different positions. You want to elaborate a little bit on that? Well, uh, the, the, the biggest thing with, with that, uh, one plus for us is that we, we've had guys who, are, who have been with us and, and are three-year starters. Uh, Trey's also three-year starter. So we have guys who can play uh, different positions. So. If, if, if someone goes down, I think we still will be able to be just as effective at, as we would be with, with, with the first group. The, the only thing is, you know, you have to, have to be able to, uh, to, to stay healthy. And that, that's why we're, we're really working in the weight room. We're really working on conditioning. Uh, 
the first, you know, the first phase of the season, the first four games, and you know when it's when it's hot and it's, it's more humid, it, I think it takes a toll on on your your skill guys more than it does your linemen. But we lost all five linemen uh, who were ended up being the starters. So I lost all five of those guys and have uh, going to have to replace them with five with five guys that uh, we're going to be big, uh, going to be physical, and, and and I tell you what, they they have jailed this summer. Not uh, I'm I'm excited about what we. What we have up front, uh, well, what it appears to be in team camp, you know, you never know until uh, it, it happens. But um, I'm excited about that. Okay, Coach Hooks, you want to talk a little bit about your quarterback situation? Uh, okay, uh, at at uh, at quarterback right now, we have three guys that uh, I feel comfortable with, uh, with two of them being sophomores. But the right now, I think the the number one guy right now is is MJ Vance, uh, who's a senior. Uh, a guy who could, who actually started for us one game last year when we had had injuries, had uh, had some problems, and uh, he come in, started in two games actually, and, and uh, you know led us to victory. The only problem with that is he's also the starting inside linebacker, and uh, and uh, he he's very vital to our defense, and uh, uh, we're gonna have to make sure that that we prepare his his body that that he's able to go both ways, and uh, he's done a good job of of preparing himself, and uh, I, I think he's up for the challenge. Uh, behind him, we have two sophomores, uh, Don Littleton and uh, A.J. Harris, and, and both of them are guys who have come in and, and worked and learned the offense and worked on uh, fundamentals and, and have can really, can really throw the football and uh, are able to take charge if, if we need them to, to do it. So I, I think we'll be fine at quarterback. Gotcha. Coach, this question for Coach Teague. Coach Teague, talk about your uh, talk about your linebacking core. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Our inside linebackers right now uh, is a very unique situation, Steve, that I've never been in. Uh, the inside core, we've got about six kids working there. Uh, the top three kids in the middle that play Mike and uh, Will are my three are three quarterbacks. Uh, those quarterbacks we have right now in camp are hard nosed. Uh, they're strong kids. They're very athletic, very dependable. They're football savvy. Uh, a lot of linebackers and defensive coaches don't have the opportunity to have the inside of the hub of your defense controlled by the same men that quarterback your offense. Um, I think we'll be fine right there. MJ is a three-year starter at that position. He's a great leader there. Uh, AJ and, of course, Don. Even though they're sophomores, they have a savvy and an instinct that really you don't teach. Uh, it's natural. Uh, they, they go to the ball. They do good on their reads. On the outside linebackers, you know we lost Jerick Skills. Man, three-year starter, you know, going into SAU this uh, fall in their camp. He's going to be hard to replace, no doubt. Um, but with that being said, there's a lot of talent there. On the defensive side in the linebacker, we lost two out of four. When we're talking about losing half your defense coming into this year, uh, you got to remember these kids that are filling these slots have got a lot of reps and a lot of playing time as sophomores and juniors. And I'm not talking just about playing time. I'm talking about a trip to the state semifinals and to the finals. So, um, I'm happy, I'm uh, uh, satisfied on the defensive side of the football. Even though we lost about half of our starters, there's some great quality kids coming in that are fundamentally sound. They've been prepared, they work hard, uh, and there's plenty of minutes under their belt as far as repetition and Friday night game experience, without a doubt. Thank you. Question for the young men. For you, uh, start with you, Brandon. You got that microphone right there in front of you. Um, yeah, we'll let you answer this question and then pass it down to Trent and then to Trey. Um, what's your expectation for the season? Where, where do you see the season going for, sem for the Seminoles? Well, I'm not going to say that we're going to do bad, but I'm expecting we do really good things. We want us to make it farther than where we made it last year. And what I see out this season, I just want everybody to work hard, do their assignments, you know. Just have each other's back, and we gonna do good things this year, this season. Good deal. Trent, same question. Yes, 
My expectations for this season is to finish out where we left off. If we be more mentally strong and physically strong, then being champions is out the window. It's pretty much the same thing. Brandon said just finish strong, go to state again, and finish pretty much. Okay. It, it, Coach Hooks, if you just uh, if you don't mind, just talk about the toughness of the conference again, because that's enough. You navigated that really well last year, but just the toughness overall of your conference. Well, I I, uh, I expect each team in our conference to uh, to be better, and uh, you know when when uh, when you make runs like we did, uh, you you become everybody's target. Uh, everybody wants wants to beat you, so. We're going to get everybody – we're expecting to get everybody's best uh, uh, from from Manila, Harrisburg, Corning, Walnut Ridge, Hoxie, uh, Newport, Piggott. I, I, we expect all of those guys uh, to be better. Uh, of course, you know, uh, we, Hoxie uh, has, has a new move in. We're expecting them to be a really good football physical team. Uh, Walnut Ridge just got a, a, a new coach who's going to do a good job and. Uh, those kids at Corning, when they were in junior high, uh, they, two years ago, they were really good. So we expect uh, Coach to go over there and, and uh, get those guys turned around. And, and Manella, we, we've team camped with those guys, so we know that, that they're going to be better. Piggott, is, uh, Coach Harrell always does a good job of, of getting his guys to compete and, and also compete at a high level against us. Uh, and, and, of course, uh, Coach Hinesley. Coach Hinesley, uh has, has a great group of guys, and uh, they, they do a great, great job of uh, preparing their guys for us. So we're expecting to get uh, everybody's best, and uh, you, you, you can't count anybody out. So it prepares you for deep runs like you made last year. Yes, sir. All right, Coach Hooks, if you don't mind, just a closing statement and you know, how optimistic and excited you are for the upcoming season. Uh, uh, first off, I'd just like to thank you guys for having us again, and uh, – I'd like to thank uh, my administration for providing us and, and the community for providing us with the resources that we need in order to, uh, to uh, play championship football. Uh, and and, and uh, we're, we're just excited about this upcoming season. And, again, thank you. Go Nose.